Hi everyone. In this video we'll be looking at how to configure your header in Avada. The header is the top part of your website, above the page content, that shows on every page. It typically holds the logo and the site navigation, and in Avada you can assign and configure up to seven different headers. OK, let's begin. There are a few companion videos to this called How to Create and Assign Menus in Avada, How to Configure Menus in Avada, and another related one, How to Configure Your Footer in Avada, which are all linked below the video. For this video, we are going to look at the header on the University Demo. To begin to configure your header, navigate to Avada, Theme Options, Header. The default header position is top, which is of course chosen in this demo, but you can make the header display on the side of the site if you prefer, like in the Lifestyle Demo, the Hotel and Resort Demo, and the Cafe Demo. There are currently seven headers to choose from, each with an array of configurable options that will allow you to set up the perfect header style for your site. In the University Demo, Header Layout 3 is selected. As you can see here, this header layout has the logo on the left and the navigation on the right, with a top bar that can hold various content. Below the header layouts, you can see an option for whether a slider, if assigned via the Fusion Page options, shows up above or below the header. This demo is using the default below setting, but for an example of how the above option works, have a look at the architecture demo. For a detailed document going through all available layouts, please see the Avada header layouts doc, linked in the description below the video. As we have header 3 layout selected, there are some extra options available below it, for the content of the top header bar. There are two configurable areas, which can hold navigation, contact info, social links, or be left empty. Below this are areas for a telephone number and an email link, which will populate the contact info if you choose that option. In our case, the demo has navigation on the left and social links on the right, so those fields won't be used. Let's have a look at how the navigation selection works. If we head over to the menu area at Appearance, Menus, and then select the Manage Locations tab, we can see the five areas where menus can be assigned in Avada. Top navigation is the second one of these. When navigation is chosen in the header layout, this is populated by the menu that is selected to be the top navigation, in this case, the university top secondary menu. Looking at the front end again, we can see our social links on the right, and our navigation menu here on the left. This menu also has icons and highlight labels, but this is more to do with the menu, so to learn more about this, check out the How to Configure Menus in Avada video. OK, so this is the menu content, but where do we style this menu? If we head to Menu, Secondary Top Menu, we will see a whole tab of styling options for that secondary top menu, including typography and colour options. There are no drop-downs in this specific menu, so the only options that are really affecting this menu are the first three typography options, the menu font size, line height, and font colour. If we consider the social media icons on the right hand side of the top header bar, the links are created in the theme options under Social Media, Social Media Icons, and the icons are configured in the tab below, the Header Social Icons tab. OK, before we move on to the logo and the main menu, there are some more theme options that affect our header that we haven't looked at yet. Under the main header tab in the theme options are three more sections. Header Background Image, Header Styling, and Sticky Header. The Header Background Image is not used in this demo, but this enables you to place an image as a background in the header area. The next tab, the Header Styling tab, offers a range of header styling options including Header Padding, Header Shadow, 100% Header Width, Header Background Color, Archive Header Background Color, Header Border Color, and lastly the Header Top Background Color which is where the colour of the top header bar has been set for this demo. The sticky header section is next. A sticky header is one that stays at the top of the page as you scroll down, and has been turned on in this demo. You can also choose whether you want it shown on tablets and mobiles, and here they are left off. There is also a sticky header animation option for some of the header layouts, which allows the sticky header to animate to a smaller height when activated. The remaining options are styling ones, 
to do with the background and font colour of the sticky header, as well as the menu item padding and font size. If we look at the front end again, we can see that the menu item padding and font size here match that of the main menu, so the sticky header menu is seamless as it activates. OK, let's move on. The header also includes a logo and a main menu. There is a separate video available on how to set or change your logo in Avada, so I will link to that in the description below if you want to look carefully at that area. But let's just look at where the logo is assigned. This is done at Avada, Theme Options, Logo. Here we can see the logo is aligned to the left, and that margins have been slightly tweaked. And below this we can see that both normal and retina versions of the main logo and the mobile logo have been uploaded. The sticky logo has not been specifically set, so it will use the default logo. The last part of the header is the main menu. As I have mentioned, there is a full video on how to create and assign menus that goes into a lot of detail, so here I will just head back to Appearance, Menu, and as we can see, the university main menu has been assigned to be the main navigation. This places this menu in our header. The configuration and styling of this menu comes from both the menu itself and the menu tabs in the theme options, and if we explore the menu a little bit here on the front end, we can see that this is a really cool menu with lots of interesting stuff going on. To explore that fully, watch the How to Configure Menus video mentioned previously. OK, this concludes our video on how to configure your header in Avada. If you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.